Hello, welcome to Kitech. My name is Kobe. Now, in today's video, we are going to learn about how to create a subdomain. So, at the end of the um, tutorial, you should be able to um, create your own subdomain from your cPanel. So, what is a subdomain? So, we are going to learn how to um, create something like this for our domain. So something like this that is you have your main domain example.com and then you have the subdomain which is store so in all you're going to have something like store.example.com or something like this which is blog.example.com now the store basically is for selling things and the blog is for your blog post so there are so many prefix that you can add to to your main domain to make it what um, a subdomain. Now basically, let's talk about what a subdomain is. So what is a subdomain? A subdomain is a domain that is added to the main domain. So you have your main domain already, and then you add a subdomain to it or a domain to it. So we add a prefix to your main domain so it is a prefix that is added to your main domain so we say it is what a domain within a domain and that is all what subdomain is about so for example you have something like this which is store.example.com now the main domain which is this one example.com is the main domain and then the store is the subdomain so that is how subdomain is all about now why do we even create a subdomain why would we decide to create subdomain since we have our main domain why do we worry ourselves creating a subdomain now subdomain are very important in different ways okay and they are very very um, of use for example if your website is that big you need subdomain to you know partition your website in different ways so subdomains can help you organize your website very well so you have your blog you have your store you have your forum you have your you know knowledge base you have your so many things subdomain you can create subdomain for it for instance if your website is so big and then you can also create a subdomain it will help you um, to create an additional website without buying a new domain name and a hosting package so you have your own domain already and you still want to you know maybe um, create a store for it so you can decide to what create a subdomain to handle the store aspect of your website so a website like um, this one which is ghflames.com is a music website now typically they what do they do they just um, publish songs for people to download them for free now if they want to add let's say um, sell songs that is add a store to it they can create a subdomain which is store.ghflames.com now if they want to go further more to um, you know engage the artists and the fans that is um, have a forum for artists and fans to you know communicate and to um, talk to each other they can also have a subdomain which is forum.ghflames.com now this is basically how the whole subdomain system works so you have your main domain and then you add a prefix to the main domain to make it a subdomain so you getting all the idea of what subdomain is about let's go into details how we can create a subdomain okay so um 
welcome back this is um, I'm, I'm logged into my um, hosting company and this is um, where I buy my my hosting packages they are called name cheap name cheap they are super super affordable um, domain names are very cheap um, almost like nine 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 dollars for a year you can get some you know if you are a web designer you can you know use name chip very very super affordable yeah so like as you can see over here so you just type in um the domain name that you want to buy and then you can search so let's say it's available yeah so as you can see almost like nine dollars a year yeah super super cheap you can buy it and then start you know your web designing thing so getting a domain name is very necessary because it represents your brand it represents who you are so now let's jump straight into um how to you know get into a cpanel and then so i'm going to go into my dashboard over here i'm gonna get into my dashboard now this is this is basically my dashboard and then um all the the domain names I have over here and I'm going to use this one and then um, I'm going to hover on to the um, the hosting package and go straight to the C panel so it will take me straight to the C panel over there so it's logging me into the C panel it's redirecting me into the C panel now this is um, this is the C panel this is how the C panel looks like okay so to to create um, the the subdomain, what we need to do is to scroll down and go to where the domains are over here. Okay, now we have the domains over here. We have the add-on domains. That is, if you have um, your bought a domain and you want to add it to your hosting package over here, this is where you add it. And then we have subdomains too over here. Okay, so this is where we're going to use over uh, in this tutorial. So we're gonna click on subdomains over here. Yeah, so it will bring us to this page. Now when it comes to this page, it's very simple. Just enter the the prefix that you want in the um in the in the subdomain over here. So um I'm gonna create um a store for it. I'm gonna now I'm not gonna create a store, I'm gonna create something like music, yeah music for it and then if you have so many domains over here you can select which one you want to buy we only have one domain one domain name over here so you see as we filled it the root name has already been what music dot kitech solutions dot com so that is all what we're gonna do over there and then we click on create create over here yeah so it's created so that is the success music.skytechsolutions.com has been created enabling um you know https free one year positive ssl installation in progress now this um package have um free sss for me as i bought any domain i'll add to this package hosting package they'll give me free sss so even if it's a subdomain they'll still give me a free SSL certificate over there. That is why it is what we're doing. So I can check over here and see how the installation process is being done. Yeah, so you see it is in process. They are giving me it to me over here. So after after we, we are done with the creation of the of the subdomain. So this is how you create a subdomain. Now the next step is for us to install WordPress on our subdomain now this is the same process as um, installing wordpress on your main domain okay so we're still going to go to the um the main dashboard of our cpanel over here and then scroll down scroll down to where this um softaculous apps installer is over here and then we look for WordPress because we are using WordPress. There are so many different different um, scripts over here, but we are using WordPress. So WordPress is what we're gonna do. But before we um, we we install it, I just want the SSL to work first 
to to be installed first so i'm going back to the ssl to make sure that it is installed on the subdomain first before i yeah so i'm going to hold on for like 25 minutes i'll come back soon okay so our our um <coughs> our ssl has been installed successfully on the subdomain as you can see over here it has been installed successfully you can see it we install ssl for music.kitechsolution.com please check so it has been installed successfully now we can go ahead to um to to install wordpress on our newly um created subdomain over there so we go to the step subtaculous apps installer and we click on wordpress okay so we click on wordpress now what we have to do is when we get to this page what we, all we have to do is just click on install now so we click on install now then we make sure that you are installing the the right the newest version of wordpress which is now this is the current version 5.72 and then you choose the um, um the the https not http okay the s have the ssl over there and then we select the subdomain now make sure that you select the subdomain not your main domain the subdomain okay and then um site name you can give it a name maybe uh, this is a music site so music yeah let's say music africa okay so and then i'll name it best um free music blog in africa okay now um we have username admin username over there so i can change it to my name which is kobe and then i i can give it a password that i want a strong password yeah so a strong password and then um, we can change the email address because we haven't created any email address for this one so we can change it so i'm gonna use this one which is service at kitechdigital.com and then you make sure that your site language is english okay and then also um, if you want to you know choose um a team or whatever it is you can choose it and then over here still use your email address over there and then just click on install okay i'm not going to choose any team i just want the default team that is the 2021 to be installed if they uh, i install it so i'm just going to click on install and then it will start <coughs> installing for me so it will take just less than a minute or two but the same for two three to four minutes so you see it has been installed so this is um our website address music.kitechsolutions.com um, this is the admin administrative url that is the um, um slash forward slash wp uh, uh, hyphen admin so let's check our website and see if everything is working yeah so you see music africa best free music blog in africa hello world this is our website now working okay so everybody can you know type music.kitechsolutions.com and go over to your website now it is up to you to design the website for the purpose that you created the subdomain for and this is up to you and your web designer to do it so um basically that is it now you can also check the um the admin um back end of the website the back end of the website which is the dashboard your dashboard so that is how this is how the dashboard looks like you have everything just like your main website have okay just that this one it is uh, looks at it as a separate website altogether so that is it so um thanks for watching and this is how you can create your own subdomain and host additional websites on the subdomain. 
thank you for watching see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe okay it is very important don't forget to like and subscribe we're building the channel together and um, i know small small we are growing okay so please like and subscribe thank you